Hi everyone! I'm here sitting under our reading tree in our backyard and you can make your backyard um, or your front yard a really sacred shared space for you and your family. Um, I've just set up a little area here just with a few rocks. You can get your kids to collect a few sticks and even just put them around sort of almost like a nest and then every day you can come out and gather in your backyard or your front yard or even you know on a balcony or a little patch of land and you can come together and you can read and so I just wanted to share a few books with you today and uh, to give you an idea of what you can do with your kids with your family now you don't need much to create a sacred and shared special place for you and your children or your classroom just a few rocks or some sticks that you gather together, a few special items, and even an outdoor pillow or two. Our reading today is The Secrets of the Apple Tree. It's a shine a light book, but we'll skip that part. A tree is bustling with life. If you look closely at its trunk, branches, leaves, and fruit, you will find the animals, plants, and fungi living there. And what is hidden in and around the tree, you'll discover a small world of great surprises. An apple tree is green with leaves in the summer. Can you see what it looks like in the winter? In the winter, the branches are bare. One by one, the leaves drift to the ground in fall, but the tree will grow new leaves in spring. Many animals live around the tree. Can you see what the bird is about to grab? Slithering, wriggling worms push through the soil around the roots. A tree's roots grow long and deep. The roots soak up water from the rain, which helps to keep the tree alive. The wind blows leaves off the tree. Can you see what is resting underneath this leaf pile? Surprise! A toad stays cool and unseen in the dark under the leaves. He lives in damp places where there are many slugs, worms, and insects to eat. Branches also fall from the tree to the ground. Can you find anything growing on this dead branch? In dark, damp patches on the fallen branch, groups of mushrooms, toadstools, and other fungi grow. The dead wood rots and makes food that they can eat. Something runs quickly past the dead branch. It scurries behind a stone. What does this tail belong to? Look! A small scaly lizard rests between the stones. It waits to catch a passing insect, spider, slug, or snail for its dinner. On the other side of the tree, a rabbit hops into a hole in the ground. Where is he disappearing to? Thump, thump! Deep down in the ground, rabbits dig nests and tunnels. They build large burrows where many rabbits can live together. A fly whirls up the tree trunk. Something is hiding on the bark. Can you see what it is? A moth has settled on the tree. Its wings are the same color as the bark. As long as the moth stays very still, nothing will see it. A bird flies through the rustling leaves with a worm in her beak. What is going to eat the worm? These hungry chicks will soon gobble up the worm. Tweet, tweet. They hatch from eggs in a nest that their parents built in the tree. Let's take a little closer look at the tree. What's this hanging from a branch? Bzzz. Hundreds of honeybees are busy making wax to build their hive. They also collect sweet nectar from flowers. They store it in their hive to make honey that they can eat. A loud noise has startled the moths from their hiding places. What is making such a racket? Rat-a-tat-tat. Tap-tap-tap. -tap. 
tapping away at the bark. A woodpecker drills again and again. She makes a small hole in the bark with her beak. Quick as a flash, her tongue darts into the gap to grab a tasty insect. This hole hasn't been made by a woodpecker. It's much too big. Can you see what lives in this den? Shh, a squirrel is sleeping on a bed of dried grass and leaves. His long tail is curled tightly by him to keep him warm. The leaf is shaking. There's something on the other side enjoying a meal. Can you see what's eating the leaf? Munch, munch. A furry caterpillar is eating and eating and eating. It eats so much because it needs food to help it become a beautiful butterfly. Large, juicy red apples grow on the tree. These are the tree's fruits. What's inside the apple? Crunch. The apple is very tasty, but the small, hard pieces inside don't taste as nice. These are the apple tree's seeds, and they aren't supposed to be eaten. Ripe apples have fallen from the tree. Can you see what happens to apple seeds that drop on the ground? Below the soil, an apple seed has split and grown roots. The roots reach down to gather food and water, and a shoot pushes up from the ground and up through the soil. Above the soil, a green shoot grows up and up towards the sun, and in time, it will become a tall, strong tree with a small world all its own.